we are taking the basic cost of vetri fat tile as 60 rupees and uh, mortar requirement for 100 square feet area as it is covering only 1 cubic meter and cover an area of 33.33 square feet so we need 3 cubic meter of volume here i have taken out the labor cost of the previous one is to 6 i taken only the basic metal component cement and sand then it comes to about 19836 for 3 cubic meter of sand one is to 6 cement mortar then uh, we need a labor cost of 32 per for uh, tiling okay they will ask about because lifting everything is involved so 15 to 20 rupees including lifting charges everything it will cost around 32 rupees per square feet so 10 square meter into 10.76 is 108 square feet then the labor cost will come to around 3500 per square feet so we can add b c d that is the total cost of your material and the labor so 1745 is a tile cost 1918 19836 is the cost of the cement motor 1 is 3 cubic meter then uh, 3500 is the labor cost so if you put together the cost of one entire material for 10 square meter is 25081 so you have to add a contractor profit of 15 percent okay so that 15 percent if you add it will be around 3762 and if you add both the cost it will be 28000 843 divided by 10 is 288 2884.3 so if you want to calculate per square feet divided by 10.76 okay this is per square meter so 10.76 if you do then you will get per square feet area okay so similarly we have calculated granite we have taken the basic cost of 120 rupees so this formula so, you can use yeah i have a doubt can you please explain uh, 108 again how 108 108 is 10 square meter one square meter is 10.76 square feet no boss into 10 yes, is how sir. much okay got it, yes, got, it got it yes 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 any doubts in this rate analysis of tiles petified tiles similarly we can calculate even the ceramic tile also so ceramic tile cost will be basic cost will be 45 to at 40 to 45 rupees okay so you can say the remaining the matter compound will remain same one is 6 30 mm layer we should have okay and uh, the cost of the tile only will vary all the labor component everything will remain same it may cost little less it may cost around 2500 plus like that similarly in case of granite the base layer 30 mm is same only the basic cost of the granite is increasing here the basic cost was 60 rupees here i have taken 120 rupees it varies from color to color if it is a normal color steel gray and all it will cost around 80 to 120 if it is a red color or any other dark color green color it cost around 200 240 rupees 300 rupees depend upon the particular quality of granite so the cost of granite will be around similarly i have calculated the same proportion and the value including labor rates here the labor rates will vary it will cost 50 rupees per square feet for labor so similarly i have taken 108 into 50 here it was 32 rupees labor here the labor only will vary and metal component of it granite will vary so all put together you get around 30 40000 40 rupees per 10 square meter so one square meter divided by 10 okay if you want square feet then divided by 10.76 okay so this is very very helpful when you are doing your own contract system or material management system which is required in a project the project manager will ask you give me the quantities how much material is required so immediately you have to calculate this you can calculate now no you can just calculate both the quantities and give so the area covered in this case 20 mm thickness if you are using mortar below it can cover an area 50 square feet and 30 mm 33.3 square feet and 10 mm usually we are not using that was a plastic folder which i have copied here usually we use 20 mm or 30 mm max okay so this is the data analysis for tile laying okay including the material any doubts in this anybody tarun any doubts in this hello Okay, again, this volumetric box uh, plays a major role in uh, doing the mixed design of 1 to 6 cement mortar. As we have explained in the plastic, the same process. You have to have 0 0.3 by 0 0.3 by 0 0.4 meter. 
So the volume of the box is 0.036 cubic meter. Why we are doing this measurement is 150 kg of cement bag is 0.036 cum. So we can have volumetric box of 1 is to 6 directly 1 cement to 6 sand in the same box you can measure. So this will be very easy and uh, convenient in the construction operation where it will have a lot of quality factors because if the mortar quality is not good then you will not have a better quality during constructions. This is one more advantage of doing this volumetric mix. Again, that setting 345 method, when you transfer from the wall areas to the floor area, so we have to have x axis, y axis checking before we start laying the tiles. So, this is there should be a reference guideline. So, that's why usually they keep around half an inch away from the wall area. Anyhow, we are going to leave 125 mm to 150 mm for skirting areas. So, there is where area below that they will have a mark and uh, start doing the operations. So, 3, 4, 5 method I have explained. This is very helpful and uh, doing the diagonals and also checking of the particular horizontal vertical lines. Are you able to hear? Hello? Yes, sir. We are yes, able to. Sir, yes. Sir. Yes, sir. Somebody yes, respond. No? Okay. This is a flooring yes. tile marking method. Marking method means I told you, no? Through tile and cut tile method when we are doing we are going to carry on the marking from one of the edge so that will be the door entry area will be considered okay so the door entry area we are going to have a mark of x line okay then make the 345 and draw point b as i have shown you in 345 method this should be followed usually we start from the main door areas okay then carry on to the internal areas then what is the through tile method the through tile method is the full tile which is going inside the bedroom also. Same lines will be carried. Understood, no? So, and the cut tile will be left. Okay. And wherever cut tiles are coming, you use the cut line. And the through tile means it will pass through even the other rooms also. Similar lines. So, all the through lines will be carried. That is called through tile method. Cut tile method is to the threshold. No? We are going with the granite band. You know, door threshold is there. There we are going to have a. 5 inch or 4 inch whatever thickness of the door frame is there we are going to have a granite band there and through the cut tile cut tile means it will cut tile at that level and the fresh tile laying will start from the other room areas just to break the joint only we are having that cut tile we are using that granite band so this is only the difference between cut tile and through tile but you should have a drawing done before you start laying the tiles so that the wastages can be reduced okay usually you should leave a about 3 to 4 mm gap all around the area otherwise expansion provision will not be there the tiles will be uprooted even the tiling also will get uprooted if there is no space to remove the temperature inside the this thing uh, tiling areas it should be wetted for seven days it should be cured properly before laying the uh, putting the jointing compound okay so all the heat generation anything is there in the calcium content in the cement should come out then only we do the joint filling so that's why four to five days curing is very much essential when we are laying the tile similarly wall tile also <clears throat> what we'll do is the last i'll explain that in the wall tile area so this you have seen how is marking <clears throat> so he has started a reference line at the corners from there he is taking the dimension so he is checking by putting the dry tile first how many tiles will come so this method should be followed before you start the tiling operations so this is called trail and error method x axis y axis we will check and see how much economy we can make by both the systems i have done in my project x axis y axis method for through tiles i could save the material content to large extent because usually cut tile through tile method the wastage will be 10% I have reduced that to 5% because I have done each room this x axis y axis system and see where the tiling wastage can be reduced. So, this way you can have a trial and error because each room dimension will vary. No, the living room will be of bigger size and bedrooms will be of similar different size, and uh, the toilet areas and the, the kitchen area all will have a different dimension. That's why trial and error method you have to follow and economize the tiling system. If you tell the tile layer, you will tell. You just guide him, you just check where the waste is minimum and uh, try to push the true tile to the door area. It should be cleared full tile and all the furniture area will go with the cut tile. 
the furniture below the furniture if the cut tile goes there is no issues okay this is how the tiling marking is being done so this he is checking this is a reference guideline so that's what i was telling you will not have this this in guide you can keep a matkol only as a reference with some spacer behind you can keep one uh, block or a brick and take that as a reference and start okay so the block can be kept a 4 inch block or you can keep one uh, runner 3 by 4 runner as a reference or matkol also can be kept and draw that line and check this 3 4 5 first you transfer the level from the plastering area to the floor area then how 3 4 5 is he checking no same way you have to check and go to the second line and check that also properly and carry on the operations so first setting out is very very important and the method of tile laying through tile or cut tile method then you have to start up the activity first you have to lay the dry tiles and check the numbers on both the direction where the economy of cutting can be maintained so this is the process how the tile laying is being done any doubts in this tarun no sir no doubt okay It is clear kishor okay. here sir yeah tell me kishor sir in uh, bathrooms and other places and all which uh, uh. tile will be laid first sir wall or uh... wall wall only it starts wall. from the ceiling ceiling edge fall ceiling edge you have to start okay sir and you have to leave the last yeah okay. yes tell me granite or marble if they lay uh. on uh, wall and flooring which one should be started first floor or everywhere the wall area should be started first why you know flooring will have a slope and it will have a screed concrete you have to maintain for the water flow one in 10 okay so that's why last layer of tile is not being done upper layer tile only will complete one ta last layer of tile will be left so there is a method i will that explain that in the dadoing method okay okay sir okay So this is clear, no? I'll move next slide. Yes, sir. Okay. So what are the quality control checks you do? So first you have to see the name of the company which is specified in the BOQ. Okay. So first you see the name of the company of the tile. Standard company tiles they would have specified, and they would have specified the dimension also, 600 by 600, or 800 by 800, or 1 feet by 1 feet, or 300 by 600. Usually the vitrified tiles are available in 300 by 600, 1 feet by 2 feet. All the flooring tiles are 600 by 600 or 800 by 800. So first the dimensional check should be done, which should be seen from the BOQ. Okay, they would have given tile laying procedure, mat matter proportion. Some people will give 1 is to 5, some people will give 1 is to 4. So all those proportions you have to check and quote the cost. As you have seen, 1 is to 4 cement matter, matter itself will cost around uh, 7 to 8000 rupees. In case of one is to six, it is six thousand plus, and in case of one is to four, it will be around eight thousand because nine bags of cement is going. So hardly three bags of cement will itself will cost you around thousand four hundred, thousand six hundred rupees extra, thousand two hundred rupees. Similarly, you have to take care of all the cost factors before you quote for a project. We need to check the quality of the tile as we have shown. The same batch number should be purchased. And the batch numbers, when they come to site, it should be neatly arranged. Each batch wise tiles. When you are laying, you have to use a particular batch of tiles correctly. Otherwise, there will be discoloration of tiles will happen. Each tile batch will have a color variation and one mm or two mm size variation also. So this is very very important to check the quality of the tile and stock it properly for a use of activity at site. Even the vitrified tile also. you have to check in a similar way we can arrange the tile quality by putting eight or 10 tiles on a level floor and check the accuracy of all corners so this why we are doing is if there is any difference in the corners you will know it is a different batch tile if it is the same batch tile definitely it will match correctly at the corners so that's why i am doing before application of tile to the floor areas we do this dry checking also and the back side of tile impression you have to see as i have told you for mortar bonding it is very much essential if it is a plain it will have a, doesn't have a grip and aro mark also should be there in place if you go with a up direction aro mark and once you start laying up direction 
you have to follow the same procedure then tail water absorption should be checked it should be less than 1% 1 to 1.5% 1 0.5% or it can be less than 1% 1% you can keep as a barrier ceramic will have more absorption because it will be porous it will have absorption of 9 to 12% a set of five tiles should be taken for sample testing and uh, you can have also all these quality checks once this is approved by the architect then we can have a metal procurement system so the tile corner joints undulations are to be checked by mirroring as we have shown you quality control procedure in the video the same procedure you have to follow and uh, see if there are no, no air gaps and even the diagonals also should be checked and the tiles are to be stocked vertically during storage of materials at bodom this is very very important why tile should not be stocked over one over the other because the thickness of tile it cannot hold more weight it will have cracks so there will be a lot of tile damages so you have to maintain this and stock it properly vertically in a slanting position of 15 degrees or 20 degrees and you can keep that above nothing will happen vertically it can sustain weight but not on the horizontal surface okay so this is the procedure uh, to maintain the quality control and also stock uh, stock of tile sets tiles site then fixing the tile using the uh, fixing is done to with the cement mortar and uh, sand the following the instructions are to be carried out first uh, you can use a cement mort sand mortar ratio of one is to four add some water and uh, create a consistent paste so this we are doing with one is to one mixer one is to two mix usually slurry in case of dadding and in case of uh, flooring uh, you can use little more uh, one is to two or one is to three or one is to four so that slurry why we are doing is it should have a top surface sticking so while laying the mixing uh, when he does the mortar layers of 30 m thickness you should tamp it properly usually the mud coal tamping will not will not remove the air pockets so that's why we have to do scratching through the tapi so he will do scratch that will remove the air pockets so that's why we have to use a wooden heavy hammer uh, rammer rammer of minimum uh, three inch four inch by six inch rammer which is used during concreting so that can remove the air pockets properly and the overlapping of the mortar is very much essential if you doesn't do that then there will be a lot of air pockets once you complete all the tiling operations there will be lot of sound coming in the particular areas so then apply 15 to 20 mm layer bedding material evenly spread over the surface of one square meter area we can have pull marks done at mud coal width so mud coal width if it is 1.25 meter or 1.5 meter keep little less only so that the mud spreading can happen equally so that's why we'll have a grid lines done for filling the mortar surface so once the mortar surface grid line is neatly filled and it's overlap properly all this sound will not come so and you cannot use the wooden hammer while doing the tiling operation you have seen the tiling laying operations in the video as sir has shown you and this way we just do the tile fixing system in case of floor and uh, these are the machines what we use this is a manual cutter for vitrified tiles and even mechanical cutter also it is available it can cut even granite and also vitrified tile so these are the tools and plants which are required okay plumb bob is required uh, during dadding and uh, dadding of the wall areas where you have to check the levels usually we start the vitrified tile dadding from the top of the false ceiling area first we'll have a marking done in the wall areas perfectly and uh, see where the cut tile is coming because dadding is very very important you have to know the plumbing locations also properly that's why we interpolate the plumbing drawing along with the architect and tell them to center the tile areas to the exactly to the uh, this thing uh, plumbing joints so when the pipe comes in the center of the tile it's very difficult to place it now so we'll ask them to place that exactly in four corners so the chipping can be done and the tiling can be done easier so that's why well plumbing laying drawing also is very very important during tiling operations so all this pre-engineering should be done before you start up the construction activity activity in dadwing so no architect will take care of this as engineers you should ask them to give this drawing properly so that the orientation of the pipelines can be exactly managed to the giant areas so that the operation and construction will be easier doing the tiling operations so that's how we do the marking in the wall areas and carry on the job 
so here marking is very much essential without doing marking wall dadding you cannot do because you will not know where the cut tile is coming where the full tile is coming because of the plumbing joints so you have to take care of this and start from particular area that's why this drawing is very much essential to carry on the wall tiling operations we'll ask the architect to produce the drawing then only we carry on there he would have specified where the cut tile is coming where the full tile is coming okay so this is the process what we follow and uh, tri square this is used to uh, check the 90 degrees which is being used in block work masonry plastering tiling flooring woodwork everything so this is a very essential tool which is required tri square during construction operation which is nothing but 3 4 5 if it doesn't have this you can have a 3 4 5 method done with the tape only and the whole depth thread 3 meter and uh, 4 meter this is 4 meter and 5 meter and check it you will know whether the exactly that line is in 90 degrees or not so these are very much essential for each tiling gang they should have all this material component tools and plants in place before they start the construction operations so this is the tapi just to spread the mortar gauge uh, this in the level in 30 mm layer and leveling gauge you are using uh, aluminum mud coal so usually the just to spread and uh, level the layer really this uh, tri square is also available this is available in 4 uh, feet you can check with this also they can level surface and surface can be checked with this a angle and even spirit level also you can check or you can check with the line gori so you have to have accuracy of mortar laying you otherwise you will end up in spending more mortar quantity during construction that's why the bull marks checking and marking with the instrument is very much essential to save the material cost so you know additional layer if it goes it will kill your money 100 rupees it will cost okay 10 square meter uh, 33 square feet it can uh, cover an area 1 cubic meter 1 cubic meter mortar cost is around 8000 rupees imagine so 100 square feet divided by 8000 is how much 80 rupees will go for 1 square feet if you do more area no so you will lose lot of material component which is a waste of money so while doing contract all this operation should be taken care when you are doing your own work okay this is a sponge pad this is not being used here but uh, to remove the excess uh, water content if it is there this can be used and the line thread this is just to maintain the tile uh, this in lines they are using they are doing pegging usually tiles once it is the mortar is neatly done no need of doing uh, threading he will have a reference marker at the edge that's why what he do uh, what he will do is all the four corner tiles in a line dori he will fix it first l shape the corner first one and the, uh, the other corner in x axis and y axis all the three corners first he will fix and uh, lay them in line and he'll keep that line dori as a reference and do one by one so in a row wise manner sorry column wise or row wise whatever he follows once he start rows he has to do in rows once he starts in columns he has to follow the column schedule okay laying method so this is how we they carry on the tiling operations uh, these are the units what i have shown yesterday for block work plastering flooring wooden works upc windows painting application work granite and marble this is the measurement units and these are the conversions okay and the sand and the cement as per the is codes you have to use this is a wire brush which is used spirit level is used to check the levels once the tile is fully laid na then we will just check the level by keeping to the adjacent tiles whether it is in line or not so the spirit level it should tally exactly it should be in the center okay so once the tiling is done for 24 hours nobody should be allowed allowed to stamp the tiling area so you should block that particular room with a some uh, some closure enclosure and uh, put a instruction there nobody should stamp the area so for one day 24 hours you should take care that nobody should go inside the particular tile laid areas that should be taken care procedure for fixing tiles so the tile should be soaked half an hour before the start of construction operations and you can use a cement mortar one is to 3 or 1 is to 4 or 1 is to 6 for the base material depending upon the quality usually for dadding we use 1 is to 3 or 1 is to 4 for flooring we use 
one is to six only not a higher grade is not required okay then the dialect direction of the tile arrow should be seen and the batch number should be seen before the startup works and cement slurry should be spread over the cement uh, the same mortar layer and uh, remove all the air pockets by placing the tile in position and uh, do a scratch mark and uh, we can use the zero paper joint method or spacer blocks so spacer block pvc spacer blocks are available we can go with a zero five paper joint without spacer or with a uh, this thing uh, pvc spacer joints both the uh, this thing can be done and the tile tapping should be done with a wooden rammer to avoid damages of tiles so this is a procedure how the tiling will happen any doubts in this tiling uh, so one doubt hello yeah so one doubt yes. sir uh, can you please just explain what is tile arrow means again uh, actually that time i was unable see, to tell you see tile arrow is a direction see each tile will have a direction because what happens the punching will happen in one direction right if you okay, change sir. the punching then the direction there will be millimeter variation in a different direction uh, four corner joints will not tally okay sir. Huh? four tiles if you lay in a floor if it doesn't follow the arrow mark, the jointing of four corners may vary little. That's why we follow the arrow system. Understood? One so direction what if, of punching. Uh, what if the uh, batch is different? Means if uh, I'm using like 100 tiles and then yes. there is some bad change. That's why you should not procure such material at all, boss. Each okay. punching tarun will have a different impressions. One or two M variation will come in each batch. That's why specifically okay. we are telling you should not use more number of colors in tile laying. I've used a single color for entire five bra this in floors. 80,000 okay. square feet, I have procured single batch number, one lot. I will if you can do that. Yeah, yeah. a small uh, example, I will tell you my experience itself. Uh, when I was yeah. working in a project uh, six years before, uh, the project mm. was a uh, big project, huge project. It is a township project. Uh, there were around uh, 2,000 homes were there and uh, 17 blocks were there. And okay. uh, there was uh, tiles has been imported from uh, China and from Gujarat. And yes, uh, tile laying was almost completed uh, and the works, uh, and everyone was happy. Once the occupation mm. started, there were yeah. uh, some uneven settlements or some places the tile got, uh, it just got broken. The owner started complaining to, uh, complaining to the facility department and yeah. the project department they didn't have any extra tiles on the storage. Yes, sir. So, the issue is uh, because of due to the wrong procedure, because for every house they should keep at least uh, five to ten tiles extra, uh, two three box extra, and they should keep yes. it. So, what happened in this particular project? The engineers, whatever the tile was there, they have consumed and they have not kept any extra tiles. Uh, and uh, new tiles available in the market that is not matching with the matching the color, yes, so, definitely. Sir. Ultimately, we for one tile uh, damage, we have to remove the entire floor area of the particular room and we have to oh. replace. this. Otherwise, the uh, uh, customer will not accept. This is the fault correct, of correct. engineers. Correct, correct. This is fault of uh, engineers and this, these customers are reviewing this in the Google. They are putting in YouTube and everything. You are seeing a lot of uh, complaints correct, coming correct, correct, correct. from the customers because they are yeah. investing money, hard-earned money. If their home uh, is not good, uh, definitely it affects, na? You agree with me? Yes, 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 hundred percent, sir. Actually, yes, sir. I have also procured mm. tile from China. Mm. What I have done is ten tiles I have given to each flat because while shifting the material itself, so many tiles will break. So after this uh, issue, our company has <laughs> and they told we will keep mm. ten percent extra for next two years. If, correct, correct, if, correct. This next two years, if nothing is happening. Then, yeah, uh, we will uh, go for uh, yeah, we will yeah. use this tile somewhere else, sir. but correct, correct. That is the correct procedure. This you have to manage, sir. We have to keep 10 tiles, even in case of petrified and also ceramic. 10 Both tiles, I have kept 10 10 numbers, 10 tiles per batch per uh, apartment. You can say, yes, yes, you have to keep, yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. It is agreed. There may be a, why. It is ma mandatory. I, I will give a little bit more idea why we have to keep means 
ஈச் டே த பேட்ச் வாட் த டைல்ஸ் ப்ரொடக்ஷன் இஸ் ஹேப்பனிங் நான் டுடே த கலர் வாட் இஸ் கம்மிங் ஃப்ரம் த சேம் ஃபேக்ட்ரி டுமாரோ த தேர் மே பி லிட்டில் பிட் வேரியேஷன்ஸ் பிகாஸ் இட்ஸ் ப்ராசஸ் இஸ் லைக் தட் கரெக்ட் கரெக்ட் சார் சோ ஆஃப்டர் 4 டேஸ் இஃப் யூ கோ த சேம் கம்பெனி சேம் ப்ரொடக்ஷன் ஓன்லி த தேர் மே பி வேரியேஷன் டியூ டு த டெம்பரேச்சர் அண்ட் த மெட்டீரியல்ஸ் இட் டிபெண்ட்ஸ் அப்ஆன் தி டெம்பரேச்சர் வாட் இட் கண்டெய்ன்ஸ் அண்ட் தி கலர் கோடிங் வாட் தே டு எஸ் யா கியூரிங் ஹேப்பன்ஸ் ஃபாஸ்டர் ஸ்லோவர் temperature variation during the kiln everything will matter sir how, yeah, this is a must sir how long the program will extend because some of the people from this batch they have to go for other training few years no one another 10 15 minutes sir 10 we'll finish minutes. okay we'll we'll try to complete by 7:45 i will inform the other trainer he is waiting yes yes, yes sir yes sir. and uh, the people who are going for the next qs training uh, yeah. uh, you can go at 7:45 i will inform your trainer he is waiting there Okay, sir. Okay. Yeah, I'll just start off and finish up because laying procedure is already done. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I have to tell the process. That's all. Okay. Okay. I will inform them. Yes. Yes. So this is the tile laying with the spacer. We have seen the spacer blocks he has kept, uh, and uh, he will do the joint filling with the same. Here, pigment also we have to procure same color. This will be given by the tile manufacturer, and you have to uh, take the same color pigment and fill it. So you should not fill for five days. You have to cure it properly. and uh, do the evaporation should happen even the uh, this thing heat hydration everything should come out then only should start filling and uh, you have to leave minimum a half an inch gap okay or uh, this thing uh, 3 to 5 mm gap all around the tile area and during the wall areas also that is very important otherwise it will approve the tiles so many projects have happened vitrified is approved because they don't have expansion place at all where the heat should go out so say the cement will have a hydration due to calcium right so due to that it will approve the tiles so you have to leave a gap without that you should not carry on the operations and the vitrified tile this is a ready made mortar which is available in western countries okay so this can be directly directly available like a paint because there the surface finish will be 1 to 2 mm accuracy so here we cannot do that accuracy that's why we cannot use this method we are going with the traditional tile laying system this is a vitrified tile is being laying with a ready made cement mortar which is available in cement this thing uh, 10 kg 20 kg like that okay so this is a tile laying ceramic tile laying is doing so with a spacer okay this is a beautiful method he is using spacer plus wedge so what is the advantage of this the wedge will not allow the corners to uproot so this we don't have this instrument and methodology in india because since they are doing over the wooden floors and the concrete surface which is so neatly finished uh, they are using this methodology in indian condition we have to manage the tile quality and the tile layer they, he should be accurate to do these things this is a wonderful method where the corners will not have any variations you can see this wedge it is supported to the other tile so while he times also it will not uproot the corners the wonderful uh, tiling method so this is external ceramic tile flooring which is being used in the external areas walkway areas and the garden areas all those things granite uh, this, this is the similar advantage of granite is is this very hard in nature usually wherever the traffic is more uh, they are using this granite uh, this in flooring usually in the corridor areas and staircase area where people movement is more vitrifile is prone for damages because they will be carrying a lot of materials and other things that's why and it is resistant to moisture and it can hard and it can uh, this in uh, sustain uh, little heavy weights also and uh, water resistance since it is an external surface prone for uh, moisture problems that's why we prefer to have a granite floor in the external areas and the appearance and quality will be good and uh, strictly speaking there are uh, two type of granites they come from the same quarry that's why you have to see the grade of granite also should be selected from one lot each quarry the color discoloration will happen and the next layer you will not get the same batch and same grains will not be available that's why like tile selection even granite selection also is very important you select from the single lot and cut the entire surface together so this is also very important like tile otherwise the grains will not tally and it will look very shabby even the color also will not match so this is also very important in case of granite also so we have to select a particular batch they would have kept one lot 
a particular batch that you have to select and carry on. The similar operations here, economy, it is available in 6 by 8 size or uh, this in 4 by 6 size. So this is available in bigger sizes. Here, the cutting management should be planned properly apart, apart, depending upon the availability of material. So architect will decide, he will ask you what size you are getting. He will do the grid pattern of uh, the sink tile, uh, the sink granite laying and give you. The so drawing is very, very important in this case. Otherwise, you will end up in more the sink wastage of material. Here, when you are cutting the granite by 4 by 6 or uh, 4 by 4, uh, this thing, you have to have 1 or 2 mm extra for the grinding. So why we have to keep 2 mm extra is that 90 degree phase for 20 mm thickness you have to manage. No? If you are exactly keeping the dimension, then you will end up in wastage of material. It will become unsized. Okay? So that's why always 2 to 3 mm additional cutting should be done during the cutting operation so that 90 degrees of corners can be matched properly during laying operations. That's why the laying cost of granite is more. They will charge you around 60 to 70 rupees for granite floor laying and 90 to 120 rupees for marble floor laying. Okay. So these are the prerequisites you should know when you are doing the granite floor laying. Any doubts in this? So same 30 mm will follow your matter thickness in this also. Here see that the threshold of a main door is little below okay the, always the floor level of the ground and the corridor should be at similar level our corridor should be little one or two or two or five mm below water should not enter the building areas that's why we are keeping the threshold the threshold should be maintained everywhere so i have to carry on the level with the respect to the threshold and start laying all the four thresholds of the main doors of a particular block in the corridor should be checked you cannot start from one corridor area and do the granite flooring. So I have to carry on the lift area and then all the main door areas and have a bull mark see that it will not cross anywhere threshold areas. Okay. This threshold you can show the figures. This is the threshold. Uh, sir, uh, I have not taken the pick. Can you show that there sir? Yeah, yeah. I am showing in the system. You can, uh, you can also watch. Okay. This is uh, the washroom. This is the this thing. Sir is uh, telling about this one. This yeah, yeah. Thing. Understood, na? Because the tile laying, uh, the granite laying should not be above the threshold. Otherwise, water will inside enter inside the flat areas. So uh, this uh, threshold has to be provided in the balconies and uh, open balconies. Balcony, bathroom areas. Uh, and uh, in the washroom areas. In a lot, so usually, lot of builders they won't provide. Uh, in the bath, uh, balcony area, sometimes in the washroom also they don't provide. Okay. Big builders they do work properly, but small builders they will uh, not uh, use these things and all. They will think why we have to do the additional work and all. They just complete finish with the tile itself. They will not put the even my builder he has not provided. We after then we have we have fixed the uh, threshold. Th this will approve the master bedroom area wooden flooring, sir. All the wetness will enter inside and will approve the surface. You got it, no? Yeah, yeah, sir. Yeah. You can share your screen. Yes, sir. Is visible, sir, now? No, no. You, uh, I need to. Yeah. I am stopped. You can show. Now it is visible? No, it will take time. Okay. Is it seen? No, not yet, sir. Should I upload again? Yeah, yeah, you can upload. You have to upload. Have it is seen, sir? Not, Hello? not, sir. Okay, it's not an issue. We will anyway. Time is up. We will continue tomorrow. The same session uh, for very yeah. today.
we will continue for tomorrow yeah, yeah only one or two minutes is there sir we can close it up yeah yeah please so now we are seeing no sir ah uh, yeah now we can see okay fine sir only little is there that's why i want to close it up yeah yeah please so this this is the advantage of stone flooring uh, over the vetriver flooring is so this is hard in nature it can sustain the loads because vetriver uh, floor if you lay in the corridor areas if something falls down it will break as sir was telling our liquidity material will be a issue that's why to just to take care of the quality aspect all the corridor areas external balcony areas and even the staircase areas wherever it is prone for damages we go for a granite flooring so this is the advantages and it can sustain more uh, weight and it is heavier in material and uh, it can sustain moisture conditions also and it little expensive but corridor areas we can manage so that is what uh, the purpose of laying uh, the granite floors and usually all commercial establishment we go with the stone flooring only usually the commercial uh, high end building we go with the uh, marble flooring italian marble that is quite expensive 350 to 400 rupees per square feet so this is a combination of uh, color granite floors where you can have a different designs is available in 1 by 2 or 2 uh, by 2 different sizes are available they can have a designs of this highly polished granite flooring this is a combination of black and white granite with some spots they will make this is a italian marble flooring which is done with the different designs so this engraving they are doing by cutting and uh, inserting the designs and the methodology for wall tiling is similar uh, you have to start from the ceiling areas and come down but here for this tile marking is very much essential tile marking you have to do One and a half to two feet higher to avoid the dampness of the side walls. Okay, waterproofing should be taken care uh, on the outside wall areas also. That is prone for damages. And the uh, entire wall area, all the PHE location, chasing everything should be packed properly before we start the work. Even in case of uh, flooring also, and even in case of this, PHE service should be checked properly. Pipe leakage, everything should be checked. Then rough coats of plaster will be doing first coat here. in this case then the why we are doing is all the chasing everything will be packed and the we do a rough coat of plaster with a diagonal grooves as a marker uh, this thing uh, this oblique marker we use it that will mark as a gripper so this is done with the 1:4 cement mortar okay and uh, this will be cured for 4 5 days then we start the tiling process wave marker wave marker we do over the plaster surface area during wet condition so tile marking is done from the top of the false ceiling and carry on to the floor areas and the last tile will be left open because you have to do the flooring tiles first and then finish up the wall area and the last tile will have a slope that's why you have to calculate by d1 and d2 method with the pythagoras theorem and calculate how we have to cut the tile in the bottom of the areas methodology similarly we are doing in the wall uh, facing areas you have to have a marking done properly the door opening areas window opening areas usually the sills of a uh, this thing ventilator we are providing granite so that it will have better look because why we are using granite is will uh, the cut tile will be seen the design will look very bad if you put a granite band over there the bottom of the this thing the ventilator it looks very good so that's why all the ventilator all the four corners we use granite the outside if the cut tile is used the cut surface will be seen that look very bad so the bottom layer when we are laying we will have a leveling grip for the tile that's what uh, we use a particular leveler or you can keep as a support with a runner with a 6 mm or 8 mm block one leveler will be kept as a level edge and start on the tiling operations so last layer when you are laying the last layer of tiles last layer of tiles because you are leaving one tile na so how to support the last layer so we'll keep a uh, runner there and support that with a 6 mm or 8 mm block and uh, finish the last layer so this is a marking procedure what we do in the floor areas similarly in the wall area so 
so these are different pictures and designs what we do on the bathroom and the toilet these are the designs which you have done in one of our project same thing i'm showing you so these are the real tiles designs we have done one project for wooden floors we are using this corner edge where you cannot do any other uh, granite band so that's why they are using over the wooden floor area all this corner aluminum band is available we'll use this as a support then put the insert inside and finish it up corner band he is taking the reference and cutting that and inserting inside okay this will look good so this is a corporate uh, this thing uh, glue down insulation i'll just run down this is a gluing system which is used in the software industry which is done with a sealant and uh, they will lay the floor areas okay and these are the different type of carpet uh, which is blue carpeting design this is carpet with multi colors reconstruction paper block method which is used in the corridor and the park areas and the drive areas for this you should have a sub base of mura mand water bound macadam or a gsb over that you have to lay this will be having a 40 dressing grade of cement concrete and available in thickness of 60 mm and 80 mm and it will be done on the bed of 50 to 60 mm quarry dust powder or sand river sand if it is river, river sand if it is cheaply available we can do that otherwise we'll go with the quarry dust powder mix plain quarry dust powder over that we lay the tiles so these are the different type of papers which are available colored papers black and white papers how is doing the sand over the sand is going to lay and do the leveling course later on so thank you very much hope you have shared an informative uh, video regarding tile laying and sarah has also shown the this thing uh, total video how we are carried on the operations at mandia yeah, you can watch the video both the demeanor video yeah yeah and uh, you can come yeah. with the questions tomorrow tomorrow first we will have question and answer session uh, and after you can we'll post that qa sir yeah sir, qa can be posted no yeah yeah the, uh, which one sir? is already there yeah tile in qa already i have sent all the four i have sent give me a second yeah yeah this one yeah tile laying is also there sir. all for qa all the questions i have sent all chapters a b c it's d no yeah yeah this is joinery C. Yeah. An email you have sent, sir? Yeah, email I have sent, sir. Okay, I will just go. What is that, sir? Hello? Hello, sir? Yeah, yeah, give me a second. Oh, Tarun was asking some question. Not audible? No, no, no. I, I, I'll... No, sir, I didn't actually answer. And my name is Manthan, sir. No, no, Manthan, no. no tell one me more Manthan. person uh, actually left. Somebody was asking. He is not there. He is not there. I will share that uh, okay. uh, the file. You can take photos. So, Hope it was an informative session uh, regarding tile laying, uh, where the basics. Uh, you can taught, take, you uh, can take this uh, picture for tomorrow's questions. You can go yeah. through. Please, please have your suggestions and uh, how was the webinar? You can have your comments. Kindly post your comments, sir, and let me also hear from you. Each of one of you who have attended the webinar. You can take this uh, questionnaires and you can read. And yes. If you have any. You, if you could not able to find the answer tomorrow, you can ask. Yeah, yeah, take, yes, yes. Take this video. Sorry, uh, sorry take uh, let them this. post their comments, sir. Yeah, yeah, they will post. They will post tomorrow. Tomorrow I will give yeah, it, yeah. Uh, this thing also feedback. Uh, this thing also they will post. Uh, and now you can take yes, the picture. And a few students want to yes. go for other pro program, so I am sending. Them. Yes, sir. Okay, okay, okay. So thank you all, guys. Thank you all for attending today's webinar. Hope uh, it was an informative talk and uh, useful in your career. And definitely this practical management will help you a lot in your future careers. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Bye, sir.